Hey guys, today we're going to be checking out something I've been meaning to try out for a while, and that something is the Subnautica Minecraft mod, also known as Minautica. It seemed really cool, so I decided to download Minecraft Forge, set it up, and take a look. There will be a link to the download page where you can try out this mod for yourself in the description, as well as a link to a complete guide of the game. But without any further ado, let's get right into the video. So, as you can see, we've loaded into a normal Minecraft world, there is no signs of the Subnautica mod, and that is actually because we need to build a rocket in order to get to that special realm, or area where the Subnautica mod is actually present. So I'm gonna go into creative, so I can show you around the mod and then build the rocket. Alrighty, now we are in creative, and this is the normal, like, Minecraft menu with all this stuff, and we're gonna click this little button right here, and this will bring us over to the actual Minotic blocks, and as you can see, there's some pretty amazing blocks, like, they put a ton of work into this, it's actually, it's really amazing. Um, and as you can see right here is the launch pad, and this is the launch pad for the rocket that will take us to the actual mod. Right down here is the actual horizon rocket, which can be constructed by building all these parts right here and putting them together, and those take a ton of resources and stuff, so for the sake of time, I'm not gonna actually build those. And then there is the rocket fuel. So those are the three main parts in order to build it. Once we have those, we're gonna place this in an open area, put the horizon rocket down, and then we're gonna shift and right click. This will open the fuel menu, and we're gonna put the fuel inside. Now we're all ready to go. I'm gonna drop these so I don't have to worry about them. We're all ready to go, so we're gonna right click inside this, and then click these little green dot thingies right here. And now we are launching off. The sound is a little, a little loud, I will say. But now we're launching off and we're gonna head over to the actual Subnautic world and I think this rocket thing is actually really cool. You can see the whole world, wow. Okay, so we've loaded in um, at the start, at least for me, it just kind of looks like I'm following because everything's loading in. It, it takes a while for it to load in. Okay, so I've now finally loaded into the life pod. It took a very long time. Uh, let me change my mode to survival for just a little bit. All right, we're now in survival and I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this fire extinguisher really quick and put out these fires. All right, so I honestly just wanna take a moment to look at this beautiful life pod they have constructed. We have the medical kit fabricator. We have this amazing seat. Um, We have the actual fabric over here which is really cool I mean it's, it's really just like a crafting bench and I like the animation where it like opens and closes when you go near it and we also have like a storage space and that that shows you the power cells and stuff anyways I must point out this mod is nowhere near from perfect there's some lag there's still a lot of work that needs to be done in some places things just don't work as they should like that loading screen was really weird but now that we're in here let's let's take a look around let's go outside Ooh, oh there we go, the Aurora's loading it, and this is just amazing to me, like, the detail is honestly amazing. I I'm gonna go ahead and jump on in. Okay, so one really annoying thing is that this mod is set before, like, the swimming mechanics were introduced, so there's no swimming, you're just, like, slowly bobbing along. And that drives me crazy. And there is one thing you can do to, um, help fix this. You can spawn in the AEP suit. Oh, and also your oxygen does run out very fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back into creative so I can show you around a little bit more and spawn in some stuff. Alright, we are now in creative. Let's see if I can find that AEP suit right here. So this will help me move a little bit faster. It's still not perfect but it's 100% better than nothing. Now we can swim a little bit faster, so it'll, it'll be a little bit better. Let's see. Let's test this out. Yeah, there we go. We can swim a lot faster, which is nice. So let's let's just take a little look around this world. I mean, just look at the detail. Like, I really like the design for these. Oops. There we go. Acid mushrooms. Amazing. I, I really do like the fish designs. They're they're really amazing to me. There are three main biomes from what I can tell. We have the creep vine, and then there's also the grassy plateau. And I'm sorry for the lag. This is literally not my computer. This is just the mod. Um, it, it's, it's a little laggy, like I said. We can get some gold from that. All right, now we are in creative, and we can take a look at the world from a bird's eye view. So over here is the grassy plateau biomes. Oh, and, and also, you can see these little coral tubes, which have tons of resources. I think it's really cool that they added those. I'm pretty sure these are floaters you can see the hoop fish I, want, I really want to find a hoverfish hoverfish are probably one of my favorite creatures anyhow here we are in the grassy plateau biome there's spade fish um i also will note if you're wondering if you just keep on going in one direction this is actually a set map but once you reach a certain limit it'll start um generating new map for you all right so one of the best things about this amazing mod is the aurora the, the, my favorite thing about it is how accurate it is it's like amazingly accurate and once this loads in i'll take I'll, I'll show you guys it Alright, so at least for the most part, I think it's kind of loaded in. And as you can see, it's pretty accurate. There's a top entrance over here, and there's a bottom entrance over here. So let me show you the bottom entrance first. So this is the easiest entrance to get to. Some fire guarding it, but once we get in here, we can go through here. And here to this little room right here. 
this is pretty cool. I don't know if I've been in this section. This is really cool. But um, it's actually really, really accurate to the actual Aurora in Subnautica, which I found really cool. And it's actually really fun to explore. As you can see, it's it's definitely not complete. Like, they still, it's, it's still a lot of work that needs to be done. But it's really cool how much they've done so far. All right, so I've mined my way out of that section of the Aurora. But the top section is probably my favorite section. Let's go up here. In order to get to this section, you have to actually have to do a little bit of parkour. Be sure not to fall off. You will be relieved. There are no reapers, so if you're trying to have a reaper-free environment, this is the place to go. Um, there are stalkers, there are gasopods, they're trying to introduce crash fish, and there are a few more creatures that are actually really, really cool. I haven't really seen any of them, so I don't know if they just, like, don't really spawn, or if they're just concepts. So, it's mostly just the prey fish. Most of the bigger fish I haven't really seen. But anyways, we can come in here. If you remember the, um, normal aurora, it's, it's perfectly accurate. Have this room over here. And now we're gonna go down a little bit right over here and this is the same the same room like in the original subnautica this goes down just like in the original subnautica and i i just really appreciate the detail and this would be the seamoth seamoth bay and as you can actually see there is a seamoth in here which i really wish i could ride in <laughs> it'd be really cool it's broken i think yeah it's missing a side and it's broken right there but i really like that they made that it's pretty cool this goes to the prawn bay, so this is the locker room. If I'm remembering correctly, I might not be remembering correctly. Oh, I think this is the prawn room. Yes, this is where we would scan the prawn suits, and up here would be the captain's quarters. And it's perfectly accurate. As you can see, none of these rooms are really furnished. This is like the first update with the Aurora, where they just made it, but they didn't really detail it. And it's perfectly accurate. I remember the original Aurora. And once we head out, we can actually head to a pretty cool area. They actually did add the reactor room right over here, straight ahead. And so we can go like, you know, fix the reactor in the Aurora, not really, but they did add it. It's pretty amazing. We have all these reactor things, but I, I really like how they've added all this stuff in it. It's amazingly detailed. It's probably my favorite part of this mod is the Aurora. But yeah, I'm, I'm lazy, so let me just mine out of the Aurora. Ooh, and it is a night. And as you can see, they do have the Subnautica Moon, which is also a really cool touch. So the main things, um, we have the safe shallows, we have the kelp force, we have the grass of the of the biomes. We have the aurora, which is really cool. No reapers, no, no reapers to worry about. I'm gonna see if I can find a hoverfish. No, I really want to show you guys a hoverfish. And here we go. Here's the hoverfish. These are probably the most adorable things. Oh my gosh, just look at them, dude. I gotta pick one up. Hold up. I, this is this is my this is my pet now. I'm carrying him with me. But yeah, I really like the AI. There's as you can see, there's only like a few creatures. It's not many. They also added, you know, table coral, a bunch of outcrops, all the outcrops, quartz, which is really cool. So they've added all like, the basic materials, the basic three biomes, the basic aurora, the basic creatures. It's it's awesome. I mean, and, and if you really think about it, think about the time. Like somebody put all these blocks here and somebody coated all these textures here and made all these amazing textures. And one thing I will show you is these cool, these, these cool tools over here. We actually do have a set of titanium sword, a pickaxe, and we also do have titanium armor. And one really cool thing is the warper armor armor which looks amazing and as you can see i am now a warper which looks really cool i like the idea that they've added this it's, it, it's really nice and, and there's there's really nothing much like like this is this is really just basic subnautica but i really really appreciate the effort like somebody who loves subnautica and loves minecraft came and built all this i mean goodness there are three people who made this their names are on screen you guys are awesome i, I just love swimming around seeing all the cool creatures and let me show you a few more things. So these are all the creatures, the, the creatures you can actually eat, I believe. Um, and as you can see, these are all like the, the, the flora. And these are all the different materials. So you can get silver, uranite, um, aluminum oxide, which actually I believe was going to be added to Subnautica, but they eventually didn't. I could be wrong. I mean, this is like the first version of Subnautica. And if you're wondering, are they gonna add like sea dragons? Are they gonna add like the lava zone? Listen, the developers can't even get the sea dragon right. Do you think these guys can get the sea dragon right? I doubt it. So I don't think much will change. I think if they ever do update it, I think it has been a while, they'll fix up the Aurora, maybe add a few more biomes. I mean, what, what biome would you like to see? I mean, the Grand Reef would be really cool. I, I think that would be a doable biome. I think if they added, like, islands, that would also be really cool. You know, the floating island over here, and then the mountain island over here. So, I mean, it really just is basic Subnautica, and it's still just amazing. Let me know in the comments section below what you think about this mod. Do you want me to play this in survival? Want me to try out a different mod? Questions or concerns? Please let me know. I will try to respond to all of you guys. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, it helps me out a ton, plus it's free. Help me reach 3,000 subscribers as fast as possible. Also, please check out my other Subnautica and Subnautica below to your content, you may like it. Be sure to check out my Discord server and my Twitch channel. The links are in the description. Thanks to my patrons, Sir Lord Mr. King Nochu and Charles the Bold Action Man. Become a patron and support today. And I will see you guys in the next video.